On December 7, Ghanaians will go to the polls to elect a president and parliamentary candidates. This will be the ninth time since the country began its democratic elections under the Fourth Republican Constitution. In all these elections, one thing is clear, regional loyalty. This happens when one region tends to vote serially in one direction for a political party for a long time. Regional loyalty, no doubt, significantly influences voting patterns in Ghana as in the case in the Volta and Ashanti regions. The Ashanti region, for instance, tends to vote for the new patriotic party, NPP, while the Volta region predominantly supports the National Democratic Congress, NDC. In 1992, Ghana's first elections under the Fourth Republic, despite the popularity and charisma of Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, he could not win the elections in the Ashanti region. At the end of polls, the NPP Albert Edubwahin polled 431,380 votes, representing 60.54%, while Jerry John Rawlings of the NDC had 234,237 votes, representing 32.87%. That pattern of voting in the region has continued till date. In the Volta region also in 1992, while Jerry John Rawlings of the NDC polled 446,365 votes, representing 93.24% of valid vote cast, the NPP Albert Edubwahin garnered 17,295 votes, representing 3.61%. This voting pattern has also continued throughout the years. The northern, upper east and west, Savannah, western north and Bono east regions have also been loyal to the NDC. The Ahafo, Bono, eastern and until recently northeast regions have also been loyal to the NPP. Cosmopolitan areas such as the Greater Accra region has no loyalty as well as the western and central regions also known as the swing regions. Executive Director of Global Info Analytics, Musa Dankwa, explained loyalties are now being tested due to demography. If you take a region like Ashanti region, the whole region is mostly Ashantis. And the foundation of MPP is an Ashanti region. So you don't expect that they will not be loyal. Even if the, 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 the numbers drop, a good number will still be voting for MPP. In the voter region, even if loyalty towards NDC drops, a very good number will still be voting M M NDC. I, I can't imagine in the next 20 years any party other than NDC winning voter region. And I can't imagine in the next 40, 50 years any party winning Ashanti region other than MPP. Those are uh, uh, demographically structured population that would naturally go this way. But I don't think the loyalty is going to be there permanently. It's been tested strongly. And this is so because of the new block of people we have as voters. They are younger voters. They are less ethnic and, 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 and more diverse in their thinking and more progressive. So a time will come that those uh, regional loyalties would, would, would be shrinking. But can there ever be a change in the voting pattern in these loyal regions? Yes, I, I think if you look at the current demography of voters, people who say they are MPP among the younger voters or NDC among the younger voters and floating voters, what we have noticed is that significant portion of first-time voters choose to call themselves floating voters, meaning they don't want to be loyal to MPP not to NDC, not to any other smaller party. They want to be a group of people who just decide what is good for them and they vote on that basis, not because they are MPP or NDC. Now, if that trend continues, I think in the next two decades, we can see that happening quickly. Musa Dankwa noted reasons for the loyalty, adding there could be imbalances in the near future due to human movement. For example, in the last uh, COVID time, we saw a lot of the votarians registering to vote in Greater Accra. Accra uh, went up by almost 400,000 voters in 2020. That was because the people of Futa region who lived in Accra 
who used to travel to vote to go and register and vote couldn't go because of uh, COVID restrictions. So they remain here and they, uh, they now vote here. That has brought a permanent change in demography of Greater Accra. And that will make Accra more li likely to vote NDC than the MPP because of the sheer number that move from voter region or that would have gone to voter region by remaining in Accra to vote. And that's what is making Accra a lot greener. If we have similar movement in other ge ge geographical locations in the regions, this could also happen and that could test loyalty of some regions to a particular party. Other political watchers have noted that the country has experienced violence connected to subnational electoral processes highlighting the need for peaceful elections. They argued that to ensure a peaceful election, the complexities of regional loyalty and voting patterns would have to be addressed. Evelyn Tengma, TV3 News, Accra.